Hi Capricorn, this is your June 2019. Capricorn, it feels like you guys are trying to um, bring something towards you. It feels like you're trying to be very creative because your creative side in the month of June uh, feels, excuse me, very strong. It also feels like um, there's going to be opportunity for you to gather information, put something together, and create something. So whether you're trying to create a storyline, whether you're trying to create uh, a movie, perhaps, whether you're trying just to create a better life for yourself, it feels very strong for you. Um, there is opportunities around you where love is concerned, too. Some of you are finally to the point where you're tired of not being uh, known or appreciated. You're tired of somebody taking you for granted. It also feels like, um, Capricorns, that, you know, you, you've brought yourself to a certain point in your life. Or you've, you've made it to a certain point in your life. Maybe it is by education. Maybe some of you had went to school and got your master's degree or your associate's degree. But either way, I feel like, uh, or even just a cert certification uh, of, of some sort. But I do feel like, you know, you feel like you've achieved many goals in your life where your work, your career, your finances are concerned. But I feel like where your love life is concerned, you feel like somebody keeps challenging you here. I feel like you're going between a battle back and forth with somebody. This person feels like they come in and out at their convenience. It feels like they come in for a while and they make you feel like things are going to be okay and they settle and then it feels like something turns around and then somebody walks away. Uh, somebody kind of leaves you, I want to say breathless or lifeless. Um, Capricorns, it, it feels like you're trying to find an even balance with this person, but they're not really putting the work in like they should. Somebody's not meeting you halfway on a project, whatever that means. For some of you, there could be struggles in work itself, challenging by a very miserable type of employee, could be a supervisor or a lead person, um, somebody on the upper level. It feels like somebody's not wanting to hear your side or not wanting you to give them an explanation about a certain situation or project. It feels like you have better ideas than they do, and they're feeling as if you're making them feel quite... Uh, stupid or not good enough or you're doubting their uh, level of professionalism. Um, it feels like they're looking at you as more of a thorn in their side rather than an asset that I feel that you are. Um, but it feels like their pride is in the way, whoever this is. And again, this will be in reference to the work area. Capricorn, again, in relationships, it does feel like there is somebody who, like I said, is doing this waltz with you. You're, you're dancing and, and holding it very um, smoothly for a little while, and then somebody decides to turn around and turn their back to you. Or somebody decides that they need to leave for a little bit, and then there's no communication, and then out of the blue, their communication pops up again. That's for some people. For some Capricorns, you have been single for quite some time. For some Capricorns, for the month of June, you're starting to realize that you don't like being by yourself. You can be by yourself, and you know that you can support yourself financially and take care of yourself and, and do different things, um, and even hanging out with friends, but you choose, or you're choosing to be in a relationship, and you want that commitment. You want to have that you want your house to become a home, so to speak. Like, yes, you have a nice house and you and you enjoy living there and it's got everything in it that you want, but it's not a home feeling to you because you don't have the love there that you require. Um, there is unrequited love going on here. There is also somebody who I feel is not following their true confessions. And I'm hearing confessions. So there's somebody that's not admitting what it is that they really want to do or where they really want to be. I feel like somebody's um, wanting to agree with somebody or wanting to act like what somebody else is doing or the way they're living is okay with them. But I'm feeling like if that's you, if that's you, Capricorn, trying to make someone think you're okay with the way somebody's doing something just because you don't want to lose them, that's not good. Because in the process, you're not being happy. Um, I also feel like there could be um, an outstanding amount of philosophy or communication 
between you and somebody else. Um, it's like you can talk about the way you want things to be and you can express how you feel that somebody should address you or speak to you or or be in your world, um, the way that they should be performing, the way that they should be uh, speaking. The, but for some of you Capricorns, you're being too controlling in, in, a, in a strange way because what I mean by that, and again, if it's not you Capricorn, it's your partner. So somebody's being controlling, trying to tell you, so, so to speak, how to dress, how to speak, how to act, what to say, what not to say. When to say it, when not to say it. Like, somebody is being, a, I don't know who this is. I don't know if it's a partner, I don't know if it's a family member, but somebody is trying to be very controlling. Somebody else, too, speaking of family, there is somebody in your family, Capricorn, who is still trying to cheat, treat you like you're a child, still trying to tell you what to do, still trying to control a lot of your actions. Now, again, that could be your family member, or that could be your significant other, whoever that relates to. I'm also feeling that some of you are going to be joining together, joining forces together. It feels like you're finally going to get on the same team. It feels like you're finally going to have the same goals, and you're going to finally contribute the same attributes to a certain situation. You're going to, you're going to contribute uh, all of your heart in now. For some of you, either you or your partner wasn't playing with a full deck, wasn't playing with all of your heart, maybe was giving 70% of it, was still leaving a certain percentage out to keep their security, to keep um, so-called their uh, pride in, in order. Somebody was not wanting to be controlled, um, maybe not wanting to be uh, committed because they didn't want to feel like they were being limited not being able to do what they wanted to do. They felt if they were in a common bond, element, commitment, relationship with you, that that would make them feel like they were losing control or that they were giving up control when somebody's not willing to do that. I'm not sure who that's for. Um, there could be uh, some racing thoughts going on for Capricorns right now. You could have a lot of racing thoughts from the past. You could have a lot of racing thoughts trying to put things together. You could also be overwhelming yourself with waiting for somebody to return. For some of you, there's a lot of secrets, <clears throat> either in your past or in your partner's past, that I feel that have taken you pretty much on a highway to hell. Um, I feel like some of these people's secrets may have come out in one way, shape, or form, meaning somebody could have told you, you could have seen something for yourself, you could have confronted your partner, or they could have confronted you, they could have seen something with you, so this can go either way. It's either about you or this is about them. But there's definitely secrets that were kept that literally put somebody on a highway to hell. When I say a highway to hell, it means it ruined everything. Somebody might have been doing something behind someone's back. Somebody may have been hiding money acting as if they didn't have much, but in fact they did, but they just were being selfish. Uh, somebody also, again, may have been in a third-party situation, I'm sorry to say it, but I do feel like that sat on a death row kind of situation, meaning that once somebody learned of it, whether it was you that learned of it or they learned it about you, but once somebody learned about the third-party situation, they were done. Somebody made it really clear that I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm better than that, and I'm not going to settle to wait till you want to come around because you're with somebody else or think that you're going to have your cake and eat it too. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I feel like there's a lot of curiosity around you or your partner, and I feel like you are struggling to get to the other side of this. I feel like you're wanting to get the true identity of the person that they were with. Somebody's wanting to know their name, wanting to know where they, were, where they met them, Somebody's wanting details, very strong details here. Some of you, it feels like as if you're in a shark tank and, and you're sitting there on a food frenzy, uh, frenzy with holding the food, the meat, the raw meat for the sharks to feed them and they're going around and around and around. So what I feel like with your relationship, it feels like you're in a shark tank, meaning you feel like you, you can't hold on to the person that you love because they're, they're so busy swimming around looking at all the other options or opportunities and they're not paying attention to you. For some of you, you're standing there as if you're saying, I'm right here, look at me. Do you see me? But they're looking right past you <coughs> in a lot of different ways, whether it's when you're out to dinner, whether it's when you're out at a party, whether it's when you're anywhere. 
you just feel like you're not existing anymore. It feels like you're definitely walking this this path alone. For some of you, you feel like you're you were in a relationship, but at the same time, you felt like you were doing everything by yourself. Every time it came down to getting something done or doing something, they were busy. They had something to do. They didn't get involved. For some of you, this could be a field of dreams. When I feel field of dreams, it feels like meaning that your your dreams, your thoughts, your wishes are all over the place right now. Or for some of you, field of dreams can mean you do not know how your partner feels about you. Field of dreams meaning you don't know what they expect, their anticipation, what they're wanting, what they're going to do. You don't know if they really truly love you, if they're in love with you, or if they just care about you. For some of you, you cannot even put your finger and mark an X on the spot to know and be sure if you're with the right one. Some of you are second guessing. Should I leave? Should I stay? For some of you, if your partner did leave, I feel like you're the one that's questioning, do I want them back? Or <clears throat> does the universe have something better for me? For a lot of you, the universe has something better for you. For only a handful of you, <clears throat> should you go back or allow them, when they come back, allow them to make their request uh, to be with you and, and make sure that they don't only talk it, but they can walk the walk. Make sure they show you actions. Make sure they express to you what mistakes they've made and why they're back now. Let them tell you why they want you back. Ask them why you didn't want me before, but now all of a sudden... I'm important to you. Why is that? What changed? What epiphany did you have? What wake-up call did you have? Why do you want me now? It feels like a lot of you are going to definitely um, bring up the past uh, to the present and, and make it clear that in the future you're not expecting or wanting that. You're going to recall something that someone said to you, whether it's a saying or a statement. But whatever it is, you're going to recall it and you're going to say it to them. And you're going to throw their own words back in their face. And they're not going to know what to do. But in the month of June. Caps. In the month of June. Be careful. Also too. Somebody around. May be contemplating suicide. I want you to be careful. This is a serious message for somebody. Somebody around. They're not going to tell you it. Because nine times out of ten. People that speak about it. Don't do it. But the ones who don't say anything, the ones who get very quiet, the ones who become unsociable, the ones who become the hermit, the ones who become all self-absorbed and trying to put on a facade, a fake attitude, a fake behavior, that everything's okay, but you know for a fact what they've gone through and you know that they may not be okay. Please, please pay attention to this person if you know who this is for. This is not for everybody. This is a specific message that I was just told to give. So if you know somebody who's been depressed, who's been down and out, who may have been drinking a lot, be careful. That may be the person that you need to pay attention to. Okay? Find a way to say, hey, let's go talk to somebody. I'll go with you. You know what? Maybe you need help just sorting this out. And we can go talk with somebody professional and get you help to sort this out. Um, let them know it's not okay if you want to hurt yourself. Please have this conversation with them. Don't hesitate because then you will regret what you did not do. Okay? All right. For some of you, Harry Potter seems to come into my mind. So whatever goes on with Harry Potter, P Potter um, whether it's the Deathly Hollows, whether it's um, one of the other stories with Harry Potter, something is going to resonate with you and a situation that you're going through. So j just hold on tight because I do feel like... Um, you know, there's going to be a mission there. There's going to be a lot of secrets, um, just like in the story itself. Um, you know, I think it is uh, Hogarth gets on a mission, right, to uh, destroy the um, Horrexes. Hor so maybe that's what you're on. Maybe you're on a mission to, to end something, to stop something. I just feel like you guys are going to figure out a way to make it work for yourself, no matter what that means whether it's to let go of something and walk away, or whether it's to be able to put things into process and, and make them work. But one way or the other, Caps, I feel like you're in control this month. You're finally taking back your control. So I'm really proud of Capricorns right now. I think that June is going to be a very strong month, and July is going to give you exactly what you deserve. So stay tuned for July.